हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू व्यापार जगत टीवी एंड मैं हूं आपका दोस्त डॉक्टर प्रवीण परमार एंड एज यू नो आई एम द फाउंडर ऑफ अ प्लेटफॉर्म कॉल्ड व्यापार जगत डॉट कॉम एंड वी आर डूइंग यू नो सेवरल एक्टिविटीज टू प्रमोट ऑन्टरप्रेन्योरशिप अक्रॉस इंडिया एंड जैसे आप जानते हो कि वी आर करेंटली प्रमोटिंग ग्रीन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर्स एंड ग्रीन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर्स जो ये वर्ल्ड को बेहतर बनाने के लिए काफी सारे एफर्ट्स डालते हैं काफी सारी इनोवेटिव चीजें जो है वो लेकर आते हैं और ऐसे ही हमारे साथ एक ग्रीन ऑन्टरप्रेन्योर जुड़े हैं ये पर्टिकुलर सेशन में जिसका जिनका नाम है पार्श्व शाह एंड सो पार्श्व बेसिकली नो इट्स अ वेरी इनो इनोवेटिव थिंग जब पार्श्व में आपके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बारे में स्टडी कर रहा था बिकॉज यू नो अपसाइक्लिंग और जो जो वेस्ट जो है उसको यूज करके कुछ चीजें बनाना कुछ और प्रोडक्ट्स बनाना जिसका जो है वो एक एक सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट में एक एक जो कंस्ट्रक्शन का पूरा डोमेन जो है उसमें आप जो भी चीजें कर रहे हो तो इट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट कॉन्सेप्ट यू आर हैविंग पार्श एंड वेलकम टू व्यापार जगह टीवी पार्श सो पार्श वी विल स्टार्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विथ योर बैकग्राउंड तो थोड़ा सा ये बताइए कि आपका एजुकेशन क्वालिफिकेशन क्या रहा है एंड आपने कैसे स्टार्ट किया ये पर्टिकुलर वेंचर को ओके सो बेसिकली आई एम एन इंजीनियर बाय प्रोफेशन और सिविल इंजीनियर आई डिड माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम सेट यूनिवर्सिटी अहमदाबाद स्टार्टेड माय कॉलेज इन 2009 एंड ग्रेजुएटेड इन 2014 ओके so where it all started was i was traveling to parts of uh, kachan rajasthan back in 2013 during college and i mm-hmm. came across a lot of heaps of stone dust that you know every few hundred meters there's a heap of stone dust that gets dumped i saw a lot of tractors doing that a truck doing that and they just were dumping that dust and is going ahead so something struck me like what's happening so on further inquiry what i stumbled upon was yahan pe bahut sari quarries hai and all of these mm. quarries once they are done they have these big ponds that get full of dust once mm. that uh, dust settles down there is nothing that they can anybody can do about it right so unka dust kya hi kar sakte so they dump it and we figured out that okay it might be worth something right if somebody is just dumping it and there's tons and tons of it and you can literally fill up fields and fields And still there will be more dust left. So initially started, uh, I initially started making bricks as my thesis uh, subject back in college. We successfully mm-hmm. ended up making bricks, bricks using that stone dust with hardly any cement content in it, and the bricks worked really well. But then post college, uh, we realized that okay, bricks, so here, but then what more can we do with it? So there is so much more. It's stone dust, right? So if we could be, if we add something, if we solidify it and it's strong enough, we can actually start creating and making objects which recreate stone. But they are like concrete. They are much more easier to make. They are relatively thinner. They are way more cheaper and they may way more faster to make. So then we started experimenting over the time, and I started uh, 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 working with Venture Studio. It's an incubation center based in Ahmedabad. Run by Ahmedabad University. So I got incubated there for a period of uh, nine to ten months, and over that time we explored the possibilities that okay, there are poss- there are possibly like a million things that we can do if we get the mix right. So we started working on the mix, got the mix right, and eventually started making a smaller set of products. So we started making uh, lights, we started making smaller furniture elements, we started making planters, and then a lot of things. So over the past seven eight years, uh, the material has evolved from say very small scale table objects to large building facades, which have spanned large multi story buildings and other stuff. And then we essentially tried and created an entire market altogether of products that were never seen or heard of before in the Indian context. So that is where we came in, and the original idea was let's try and upcycle the stone dust. In whatever capacity that we can was the original idea that we tried and evolved upon and worked upon and got that was certainly in the case. Okay, so parse. Yes, बिल्कुल. So parse, आप आप जो ये ये काम कर रहे हो कितनी products हैं आपके पास और products के नाम क्या होते हैं? So I am just you know want to know that. Okay, so we have uh, 
a range of more than 220 230 odd products Uh, all of all of these fall into five different categories, namely landscaping, facades, lighting, furniture, and decor and embellish. So these are the five categories. And in terms of the in terms of names, these are very simple, straightforward name selection. Very simple cuboid planter is called the cuboid planter. A planter which looks like a koti is called the koti planter. A, a planter which looks like a half cut egg is an egg planter. If it's a facade, it's a sun control facade one. So we kept the name very simple, but they're very functional and like a product plan. Okay. So, uh, uh, Parshu, what is the uh, larger goal or vision? Up, ye ye particular jo cheez kar rahe ho, usko ap kahan pe dekh rahe ho after ten years, twenty years? Kya vision leke chal rahe ho? Okay. So the vision is uh, to be a global brand. a global brand because india can become the factory for the world the kind of manufacturing amenities and other set of things that are coming up in the country there's huge possibility for things to actually go out we we want to be like an atelier which is known for its product for its quality for its timely delivery and the actual longevity of the product worldwide because we have been able to prove ourselves over the past 7 8 years in the country and there's an extremely huge demand for handmade stuff which people are really now starting to understand what is really handmade and yeah that's the goal uh, we want to and the major goal would rather be let's try and upcycle as much dust as we can in our which is our capacity and our vicinity goal सुपर सो पार्स हम लोग मतलब अभी मतलब आपके बिजनेस के बारे में बात करें थोड़ी सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट जो है उसके बारे में बात करते हैं बिकॉज हम ये जानना चाहते हैं कि आपके थॉट्स क्या है आपके व्यूज क्या है सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट जो है उसको लेके तो पार्स ये बताइए कि आप एक 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 एसएम बिजनेस जो है उसको उसको आप कैसे देख देख रहे हो मतलब वट इज द रोल ऑफ एस As far as the uh, global climate crisis are concerned, or जो एक environment का बड़ा issue जो अभी दिख रहा है मतलब जो हमारे सामने है तो उसको solve करने के लिए एस एम ई का क्या रोल हो सकता है आपके हिसाब से सो आई थिंक इफ वी एक्चुअली ट्राई एंड कम्बाइन ऑल द एस एम ईज दैट आर देयर अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दे वुड प्रॉब्लली फॉर्म अ मच लार्जर पार्ट ऑफ द ओवरऑल इंडस्ट्री देन द लार्जर इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिविजुअलिटी वुड एवर डू so there is so much of impact that the small scale industry do because these are the real industry getting people in eco and everyday life and without the our the global environment will really really get better so i think it all starts at home if we're talking about sustainability then it has to start at home so that means in our case it has to be our own workshop Our own space, our own identity, our own uh, individuality, which needs to really work upon. So, sustainability begins in terms of you sourcing the material, you looking after the processes, looking after the men who actually do the manufacturing for you. All of these steps combined will form the larger uh, bubble of the sustainability, which encapsulates all of these factors. And I think SME will be the driving force for uh, uh, actually going and uh, going towards a better sustainable future. Super. So, अच्छा ये बताइए कि अब सब लोग जो है वो green की बात करते हैं, सब लोग sustainability की बात करते हैं. बहुत सारे मतलब हर एक business में लोग sustainability को कहीं ना कहीं जोड़ना चाहते हैं. तो आपका क्या थॉट है मतलब इज इट जस्ट अ रेक जहां पे लोग बात कर रहे हैं इट बिकेम अ बज और सही में ये प्रैक्टिकली जो है वो इंप्लीमेंट हो रहा है एंड वी कैन सी द यू नो द ब्राइटर एंड बेटर फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया जहां पे चीजें जो है वो ज्यादा सस्टेनेबल होगी और चीजें जो है वो ज्यादा ग्रीन होगी आई थिंक इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ बोर्ड Like there are actually a lot of companies who are really, really working towards sustainability, and they're trying to make an impact which is actually going to better our world and the next generation. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, up to a certain extent, it is also a fad where you know it's just a buzzword where people want to jump upon and really capitalize upon the opportunity where you know people are no खरीद रहे तो why not just sell it? That's uh, that there's obviously a mix of both of these, but I think the the first one is actually going to really try and change the way we live over the next few years, and those companies will actually make it big. And there will be so many more of the next few years that the Reliance and Ambani's and the Tata's that we hear about now, they the the companies who are actually working towards sustainability, they will be the next Tata's and Ambani's of the world because that's where the world needs to be, and that's the only way out. Otherwise, I don't think there's another you know second door. So the latter part of companies might make a economic uh, thing right now but towards the end they don't really uh, they won't be the most essential thing that we might be looking at okay so uh, okay thank you so much for that parsh for now now thodi si baat karte hai aapki personal journey ke bare mein aapke activities ke bare mein taki jo hai as an as an entrepreneur log ye bhi jane ki aap kya karte ho when you are not working or aapke kya hobbies hai तो पार्श ये बताइए कि आपका आपको अगर डिफाइन करना हो तीन वर्ड्स में राइट सो व्हाट आर द थ्री पर्सनालिटी ट्रेट्स ऑफ योर्स ऑफ माइन ओके आई से हार्ड वर्किंग एंड कुल एंड पार्श आप जब काम नहीं करते हो वेन यू आर नॉट इन ऑफिस और जब आप काम की बात नहीं करते हो काम नहीं करते हो तो और क्या एक्टिविटीज जो है वो आप करते हो मतलब वोट आर योर हॉबीज आप कहीं घूमने जाते हो रीड करते हो लोगों से मिलते हो वोट आर सेट ऑफ एक्टिविटीज यू आर डूइंग आई लव टू स्विम सो आई बीन स्विमिंग बिफोर आई कुड वॉक एंड लाइक body and the mind and the soul that's probably the best thing and apart from that music is something which is like a 20 uh, of it in that thing whenever i'm working whatever i'm doing music is like it's just on on it never stop so that's something else and um, i love to meet people so like if somebody is just sitting next to me i love to like a conversation to chat get to know more about people more about industry anything in in general so that's like a big thing uh, it's, it's a very fun thing to do you know actually we ask a very intimate question to somebody and then you try to try to convince them and it leads on to places where you never really know where uh, you should go so yeah that's and yeah i like to do it at times you just sit idle and do nothing for a change like that's or uh, that's I mean, it's very necessary when you're an entrepreneur. You're literally on your own all the time. There's something or the other that happening every second. So taking time off, not doing anything for a change, is like a very important part. Really. Cool. And uh, first, uh, now uh, one more question. Uh, it is about the most challenging part you have in your journey. or uh, how did you overcome from that particular challenge so i think uh, in terms of challenge all of these seven years every day has been a challenge and at the end day this hasn't been one and uh, the thought that okay let's not do this anymore just comes up but then you, you spend another 15 minutes half an hour and hour into it and you're like okay i think i can get through it happens every day but the most important uh, challenge is uh, there have been two of them one is um, uh, actually uh, imbibing the idea that okay a company like this can be run it can be set up there is a market for it and when you are creating a market it gets even more tougher when you are entering a market uh, you know that okay there are people who are willing to buy it, but when there is no product like it you are trying to create that it's an entirely new thing so getting the mix first right you will actually deliver good products training up a team and setting up the workshop was a very important challenge 
and the bigger challenge once that was done was uh, how do you convince a client that okay buy my product because it's actually sustainable it's nice it's cheaper it's going to fare well so when your product isn't tried and tested how do you actually convince a customer that okay let's buy it. just try it out and try it out and let me know in a couple of years how is it going so doing that and getting that cycle wheel rolling where you know one customer comes in and they come back again to you after a few years or they go out and recommend your name to somebody else or they paying more for something which they might probably get it for a bit cheaper in plastic or something but you trying to convince them that okay this is really really going to work well for you with the environment sustainable and upcycling and it's, it looks good and it's going to work well has been uh, probably the biggest challenge challenge because uh, that's where the core uh, idea of the company lies if you're able to sell it it makes sense otherwise making it just making it doesn't make all that sense right so that's the biggest challenge that we faced is convincing people and we've been able to successfully do it for the past few years so now that's uh, like i think it is extremely relieving to realize that okay people do love your products and they'll be you know uh, there, there's going to be a huge demand for it over the future cool so uh, apart from now my next question is about uh, uh, do you think you are successful and if your answer is yes then how do you define success i think i am nowhere near successful i would like i i, I think i am successful but i am nowhere near that because success to me would rather mean that okay there is no more stone dust available what do you do that would be a successful day for me when you actually realize that okay there is so much of upcycling that is done over the few years that it will be impossible to sort of uh, Uh, get that dust anymore, and we can't like we have to find another source of the uh, raw material. I think that'll be a good successful day for us. Till then, like it, it's a long uphill journey that we have to keep working towards. Correct. And so, uh, apart from now, my last question to you is: uh, uh, What message do you want to convey to our viewers, and especially you know the young entrepreneurs, those who are watching this particular interview? Um. the message would be i think uh, people should really really feel more about the environment about the places where they are living in like see recycling upcycling sustainability all of those should be world but they should live and really really believe into those ideas rather than just talking about it Begins in the smallest of stuff from whatever you buy, how you live, how you commute, how you do other set of things. All of those factors are very, 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 very important, and those smallest of steps are going to make the biggest of impact. So imagine seven hundred crore people doing that every day, one small effort, and that adds up to a lot overall. So just live with nature. and don't live against it what the only message that matters is that don't go against it be with it super that's a great message and i think uh, that awareness is very much required uh, apart from you have rightly mentioned and uh, because uh, you know to to live in a in a green world to live in a in a healthy environment you know it it makes lot of difference and you know really that awareness is required and that's how you know we come up with this particular initiative to establish or to create such awareness where in more and more people come to know about you know the entrepreneurs those who are putting their efforts they are contributing towards the sustainability towards the nation building or towards the the better environment or better climate so thank you so much parsh for uh, joining this particular interview and uh, taking out your time and it was really great talking to you thank you so much thank you so much dr ramesh nice my meeting. pleasure and for viewers so if you have not subscribed vyapar jagat tv yet so what are you waiting for please do subscribe vyapar jagat tv now and do not forget to click on that particular bell icon because that is the one which will give you notification whenever we have new green trainer and thank you so much uh, for uh, 
watching out this particular talk show which is named as agrotees presents talk with green preneur and stay tuned and keep watching vyapar jagat tv thank you thank you जगह